Well, hello, everyone, and thank you for joining the podcast today. We have returning guest Jill Williams that we had on last month. We're going to be talking all things geopolitical, the upcoming case with Mike Lindell and Joe's musings on that. Uh, please do like and subscribe as it helps the channel grow. And please do check into our Club Patriot channel, which we will talk about towards the end of the podcast. Joe, as always, welcome to the podcast. Good to see you again. JD, what's going on, man? <laughs> what's up, brother? It's always good to see you, you know. <laughs> Likewise. All right. So you've you've been an elite decoder on some of the geopolitical stuff with me in the past years as part of our team. And as, as I've told our audience, and so uh, today you were going to be talking, I think, largely about what's going on with some of primarily the court cases going on with, uh, you know, the um, uh, the case in Atlanta and also Mike Lindell. And so I'm just going to kind of turn it over to you to talk about what information you found and what you've extrapolated from that. Did, uh, hopefully I didn't cut you off. Did I cut? Am I still on? Yeah, you're good. You're good. I was just muting out so you okay. could speak. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, everything is moving. I still think, and this is my opinion, I still think that they're stretching a lot of the things that's going on because some of these trials are being extended uh, for ludicrous uh, 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 situations. Like, say, for instance, uh, with the Fanny trial, they eliminated six of his charges, right? And these are the weaker charges that they took off, which is going to force them to probably move the date back even far, farther, because if they want to keep those charges to do that. But part of me thinks that the, the judge is going to probably remove Fannie from the case, but they wanted to take off the lesser charges so that the new attorney can uh, use the charges that are still in play uh, for trial because they do not want to get that date extended. That's the one thing that the deep state don't want. They don't want that to happen. But I still think that everything is being stretched out uh, because it's going to take, you know, we've got eight months. Eight months is a long time, but, it, but technically it's not. But eight months is a long time for them because uh, they have to, um, they have to prep who they're going to, who they are going to have to represent them uh, for the presidency on the Democrat side. Joe Biden is not going to uh, be there. He's not going to be there. They, they're going to have to drop him because he's, he's slowly digging himself in uh, uh, his own grave. And uh, I'm hold on, blowing my picture up a little bit so I can make sure I'm centered. Um, yeah, he's slowly digging his own grave. And so they're going to need at least six months to push someone in front in order to get the public to vote for. So there is, it's a lot of things going on. Uh, you know, he's in trial today uh, on the Jack Smith thing, trying to get it, um, trying to get that, that trial thrown out uh, because of the immunity stuff. But uh, there is nothing, I was checking that, there's nothing yet on that. Also, I have a fun little video thing I want to show uh, at the end when we're, when we're done when, okay. when we're done but other than that yeah uh I, oh i'm not an elite <laughs> elite uh, uh uh decoder but i'm doing my best man i am doing my best i love doing it it's fun to me because i love the creative side of it uh we are watching a movie and that's the part where i can actually see the plan actually taking place but from the forty thousand foot view because of the fact that i've written movie screenplays. Um, I've written, uh, a, well, co-writ, co-wrote, I'm sorry, a book, which later on, I can pub it later, but I co-wrote a book, uh, the creative side of this whole, this entire thing that's going on. So I can see it happening right here in front of my face. But uh, to answer your question, yeah, Trump is in trial today. Uh, also, Judicial Watch, Judicial Watch sued uh, Fannie Willis as well as the J6 Committee for Information. Did you know that? No. Uh, um, yeah, this morning it came out that Judicial Watch, I, I, I sent that to you, I, so mm -hmm. you can post it at, uh, in the description. Uh, let me open it up. Judicial Watch uh, sent this complaint to uh, uh, file a lawsuit against Fannie Wallace in, in the capacity of the district 
Court of Atlanta, as well as the, uh, the J6 Court for information pertaining to her, uh, and pertaining to her getting information from the J6 trial, uh, the J6 committee, and, and you, they're working in cahoots between her, Jack Smith, and the J6 committee is working together in order to file these charges against uh, Donald Trump. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, where am I at on this? Because I lost my Zoom page. While you're looking for that, Joe, let's back up a second here. Just want a, a question. I'm pretty sure a lot of the audience members are are, are going to ask or are pondering themselves. So, all of this that you're discussing is under the preponderance or supposition that we're going to November for the election. Some people are, are going to say, "Well, aren't we going to have you know military step in or change things? Do you think we're really going to November, or is something going to happen much sooner than that?" I think that the Trump team want the original method methodology to play out, um, you know, voting and all of that, and then change it afterwards. But uh, uh, part of me believe that once, in order to move uh, with the, with uh, a new voting system, you got to expose the old one, and, and that's the problem. Will will we see the old one? Uh, I mean, basically the uh, cheating, you have to expose the cheating, mm -hmm. uh, what happened in the last election. Uh, God, I wish I had thought about this earlier. I could have had uh, a lot of stuff that I pulled up during that time, of the election, like say, for instance, in Wisconsin, they only have six something million, 6.3, I think, uh, 6.3 qualified voters in, in there. And they turned in over 9 million votes, which is virtually impossible. Mm-hmm. Uh, and how the election was uh, Donald Trump had votes taken away from him uh, in real time, in real time. And I actually have all of that, uh, that information. I, of course, I have it on a hard drive. I have to pull it up in one of my hard drives. But uh, I learned not to keep a lot of stuff on my computer because, uh, yes, they will. They have gotten in my computer and things have come up missing. So, but uh, uh, I, I, I want to say the election is going to happen, but part of me believe that it's not. It's not. I believe that they're going to, once they, let's put it this way, once they expose that Joe Biden is illegally there, mm -hmm. it's going to cause a constitutional crisis, which is going to put a freeze on the election process. And also it gives them permission to put the, the uh, military in place as well. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if there is an election, the military will be there. Uh, to guard to make sure they don't do the same things that they did the last time. You're but, referring uh, to Dominion, uh, Dominion voting? Yeah. Well, no, no, not not just Dominion, but uh, several locations. You had people blocking windows. Uh, a lot of uh, poll workers wouldn't allow the natural rule by rule process to happen where you have uh, poll watchers that were, you know, they they can stand two to three feet behind and 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 question any ballot or they see something like that. But it, there are a lot of rules that come with this, but I would not want to be a, uh, a ballot counter right now. Not, not today, especially a Democratic <laughs> ballot counter. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't want to be one of those people because a lot of these people, they're going to go to jail. A lot of them are. They just have yet to be exposed. But I believe a lot of them have already been questioned. A lot of them have already been interviewed. A lot of mapping is taking place when it comes to this process of election. We need to legalize it. In order for the Sarah Josiah to take place, we have to have fair and clean elections. Now, there's always going to be cheating. It's, it's always. It's, I don't care what type of election you have. There's always going to be cheating. But as long as we can get at least 90% of this cheating taken out, you can see who the uh, president really is. Personally, I believe this entire state is a conservative. Let me see, entire United States, I believe, is conservative. I really do. Uh, I don't believe the Democratic Party is as big as it used to be. They just own the megaphone. That's it. They they own a microphone, and they're able to scream the scream the loudest right now. So everyone thinks that, oh, the Democratic Party's strong. No, they're not. They're not. Yeah, and that so, microphone's being fleeced from them as evidence of shows like this multiplying. So right, right. 
let's back up a second, Joe, to your other point. You you mentioned that, uh, you know, obviously the Biden, we know that whole situation uh, is, is not going to make it, right? The wheels are coming off. <clears throat> so the question becomes, who do you imagine will replace him? Uh, can't be uh, they're going to try to put Kamala in, but I don't, I don't. Obviously, she's not a natural citizen. We know that. So, are you thinking? Uh, are you thinking Big Mike? Uh, I believe they're going to put. Uh, well, Big Mike keep, keeps denying it, but I believe they're going to have to go that direction because Biden is not going to be. He's losing too bad. The polls that they have now are uh, misleading. Uh, when you have 75% Democrat, 20, uh, like 15% uh, conservative, and another 15%, uh, I mean, less than 15% on that, uh, to do my math correctly, of independence, then you're going to always have a, a, a leaning poll. The poll is going to lean towards, uh, you know, the uh, Democratic Party. And that's what they do with these polls, but even the polls are still giving him 30%, which I think it's well below 30%. I believe uh, Biden is probably polling at about 10 or 15%, to be honest with you. If, if that. And if that, if that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's take it to the other uh, side of things. Let's presuppose we do have the election carry out the next eight months. What, in right. your estimation, can be done to tamp down Dominion voting and all the cheating and suppression manipulation so that we do get an actual fair and free election? Well, one thing they can actually uh, ask the right questions. Um, they're driving me crazy when they have these hearings and they're not asking the right questions. Um, Dominion, they're offering features. They're not rigging anything, if you understand what I mean by that. If they're asking him if they rigged the election, if this is supposed to be, no, they're not rigging it. That's the reason why that they're able to get it, get on the stand and say, no, we're we're not doing that. But had they asked a question like, like, okay, does Dominion offer features that would allow a certain party to obtain these votes or an adjustment to happen on these votes? And they would have to answer that question, yes. The software is made to do that. And, and, and if you notice, like uh, um, in San Francisco, where uh, uh, Pencil Neck was there and he was running, and I actually have video of him, his election, stealing votes real time. And, and, and I'm like, wow, they haven't stopped this stuff yet? But are they stopping it or are they exposing it? Mm. the white hats could be exposing it to show you this because if you watch the trials and this is me and my abstract way of thinking i don't see the conservative side being on trial i see you know this democratic party uh i see them being on trial the way they're they're wording the stuff is like okay we're going to show this to you like say for instance the her hearing and I'm listening to that, and he did not exclude uh, Biden from being charged with anything. He said that, in he specifically said that, no, I didn't do that. I didn't say that he was excluded from this. But what his problem was, he knew that charges would not work in Washington. So that's why he's like, okay, well, you know, I, I can't charge him here. I, I can't charge him, but you know, of course, the Democratic Party took that and ran with it. And no, that's not it. But if you take them outside of Washington, it's on. It's on the law. The law. I mean, they would actually have to snatch Biden out of office really quick because they do not want an impeachment on their side. It's going to look bad for them, especially going into uh, the vote and, and voting in November. Just think about it. If they had an impeachment going on leading into the elections, you think that the Democratic Party would actually benefit from that? No, it would have hurt them. It or it severely hurt. Them. So they're gonna have to make a decision like within the next 30 days because they're gonna need at least good six months to prop their candidate up and probably have some debates or something like that to try to win some of these people, you know, the the 
public back over, which they've lost them, uh, I say about three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. That's what it said. We knew we knew that it was stolen from them uh, in 2020. And we tried our best to get as much information out as we could. But of course, the megaphone is being held by them. And, and, and it's hard to do that when you have 20 people screaming one thing and only one person screaming, you're not going to hear that one person. But now the numbers are starting to shift. And the, the truth is getting out there. Like you, you waited until the right time. And then God just told you, hey, turn that switch on, John. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and do this. You listen and say, you know, same thing here. I, I died down a lot of it, probably mainly because I got sick, but I died down a lot of the uh, uh, shows that I was doing because, yeah, I was getting tagged. I was getting uh, eliminated. I couldn't, my computers kept getting uh, uh, invaded. I uh, kept crashing. And this is the, uh, like I said, three times it took me to uh, to Apple to get my computers cleaned up. But uh, that's a long version of the answer for the election happening this year. But okay. yeah, I think it's going to happen. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Uh, next question, moving forward to, you mentioned President Trump being in trial. We know that it's interesting what's going on, Joe, as you know, with Mike Lindell, because he's been really, for the last three years, solidly, you know, showing, remember when he did the map of all the cheating and the election rigging going on internationally. We, I think many people kind of already knew that, but it was good to see it with the detail in which he did it. Now he's coming back, speaking of the megaphone, and I think today he's going to the Supreme Court. And what is a misnomer for many is they think that the Supreme Court heard this evidence, but that's not true. They haven't. It was done stateside, many states mm -hmm. around the country who shot it down because they didn't want to deal with it. Now he's going to Supreme right. Court. This will be the first time they're actually hearing the evidence exculpatory with as much detail as he's providing uh, in very granular you know, detail that he's going to be sharing in terms of uh, witnesses, testimony, documents, video footage, the whole works. And so uh, as researching it, I found out that he spent $20 million of his own money, to, of his own money from his companies, MyPillow and all the affiliates, to get this truth out. So he's really playing in many ways, a underrated hero role. Uh, my question to you is, if the, when he goes today before the Supreme Court, do you think it's likely they're gonna have to hear the evidence? Do you think it's likely that they're going to take it seriously and actually give it you know, a fair shake in terms of decertifying the 2020 election? They have to, they have to because um... It was uh, according to the rules. Let's, let's let's go according to the rules of uh, election and running for president. They violated almost every rule there was in order to win this election, and and, and the biggest part is the cheating part. And I, I keep forgetting not to say cheating because I know you post this on YouTube. So hopefully we it won't it won't ding you too bad. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe that they have to listen to it. Now, if I'm correct, out of all the cases he had, he he only lost, well, lost three uh, cases, which said that they were without merit. And he, technically, he really didn't lose those cases. It was just that they, like you said, went to the Supreme Court, the local Supreme Court, which is in the, each state, and then it went to uh, uh, Supreme Court now. So um, the big Supreme Court, the high hats. Uh, to, for them to review it. So Donald Trump really has yet to lose any case. Um, matter of fact, not only is that case going, they also, uh, uh, 23 states, uh, and they filed an amicus brief as well today uh, too. Where, uh, they're trying to basically lash themselves on that case that's Missouri versus Biden, mm -hmm. which is talking about uh, um, them uh, censoring us on the internet. So that's very important, especially for you and your show. Uh, and let me read this real quick. 23 states, uh, uh, the district, uh, 23 states and the District of Columbia filed an amicus brief in support of Biden's administration in the Supreme Court justice case of Missouri versus Biden. The states essentially argue that they have an interest in collaborating with tech companies uh, to encourage the public to behave. <laughs> this is their wording. Encourage the public to behave themselves and discourage the public from being uh, aligned with disinformation. 
Now, this is what they're doing. They actually want to uh, grab, grab, grab onto a coattail and 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 join in on this to try to get uh, these companies to censor us even more, which is along with what's going on with TikTok. Now, mm-hmm. TikTok is not just to get TikTok banned. They're trying to set up a complete ban getting closer to the election. So they're going to look for any little thing that they can, they can do to remove uh, content creators off of the internet. So all of this stuff is all linked together. It's all linked together. Uh, just like, here's something, I'm, let me get off topic real quick. Sure. Here's something that's crazy that uh, I started writing, you know, just drawing like a little map of myself. They want to limit you to, what do they call those? Uh, uh, 15 minute cities. That's what they want. Oh, smart cities. And in, Yeah. Yeah. And in this, it's like, okay, what did they do to lead up to that? And I'm like, did car insurance companies, were they in cahoots with it? Because if you, uh, you go try to get new car insurance, they tell you, Hey, if, if you drive less than 15,000 miles a year, we can make your lot, your price of your insurance lower. If you only use this car for this amount of time, and and then they, you can plug in the little monitor so they can monitor you there mm-hmm. as far as how you drive, how you spend. And just like uh, uh, what's on the news right now, they're selling information. Right. Uh, every time they accumulate this information, people either buying or selling your personal information when you link your car using that little adapter thing, or or you, especially on your phone. They can link and, and, and track you, but that's getting off topic, but that's me and my track mind. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but now yeah, back to the topic. Uh, yeah, these court proceedings that are going on right now, uh, we expected March. Remember the video I sent you uh, with uh, Trump saying that in five months, we're going to save the country. And this is March. He secured the nomination from the, uh, uh, the Republican Party for, you know, to represent the Republican Party. So a lot of things are starting this month. And I believe, uh, I don't believe the trial stuff is going to get settled yet. I believe they're going to get, everything is going to get wiped out. I say at least a month to two months before the election. A lot of these trials are going to get thrown out right about that time. That's, that's my opinion. And if not, it's going to get moved back beyond uh, the election. Once you go past the election, they won't, they won't even care. The Democrat Party won't even care. They, they're expecting now. Yeah, they're going to go for broke. It's like a Hail Mary, basically. Right, um, right. Mm-hmm. So how, you mentioned something, I want to just backtrack on a minute, because I, you know, obviously you have a military and police background. Uh, what specifically, from your experience with the military, could or would they be, do you think, deploying to, if they bring in the military during the Nassar Jassar process to implement free and fair elections, you thinking like watermarking, obviously paper ballots, but watermarking, you think that's that's the kind of stuff they'll use to make sure that the voting is legit? Yeah, I actually have a letter uh, approving the watermarking process. Uh, A lot of this stuff, I'm gonna thumb through my, uh, while we're talking. Um, Yeah, I believe that uh, they're gonna actually do more military um yeah what's the word i'm looking for um oversight we're at war we're, we're, we're at war we're at war i mean we've been at war uh it's just a different type of war that uh uh that's being exposed to the public uh, a lot of information is not going to get out there for one we have crazy people out there that would want to join in especially if it was a gun a gun war which is not the type of war is more of an information war it's a digital war that's going on. Yes, there is some fighting going on as well, but uh, a lot of this stuff is going to get hidden. Uh, I don't think, like, say, for instance, in New York, they have the uh, National Guard there to guard while people are being uh, uh, getting on the subways and stuff like that. Is that part of it? No, I don't think so. I just think that's just there to tamper down the fires uh, in order, you know, so it won't get as big. Mm-hmm. Because this process is going to get bad. And uh, when they realize that all of their dirty tricks are not working, it's going to get dangerous. 
I mean, look at what happened to, uh, to Dallas, the fires that happened there. Uh, uh, video footage shows that it was due, due weapons that were actually being used. And it's and a lot of it, you really can't uh, uh, Photoshop a lot of that stuff that I've seen. I believe that it's going to get worse than that. I believe that these people are going to get desperate. Satan is going to uh, rear his ugly head. And it's, it's going to get dangerous out there because these people are going to get desperate. Agreed. Uh, so, I, that, sorry, go ahead. No, I got, I got, I was getting ready to say I got off topic again. No, it's, I get, I get, I get excited when I'm talking about this stuff. It's just so much information that's out sure. there that I want to pass on. But, I, uh, uh, you know, especially you have to talk to like minded, like minded people. So, but go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. And we're going to share a lot of your articles too. So people can find that in our telegram and links in the description. So people can reference what you've been talking about today. Uh, just last question, I think is a good place to, to end for today for next time. So with all that said, what you just shared, understanding that it's going to get uh, uglier and more and more intense as things ratchet up closer to the end of the cycle, whenever that is. The question I know is on a lot of people's minds is from, from your standpoint, militaristically, martial law. Do you think we are going to experience some type of martial law in this process? I think it's going to happen in, in Democrat ran cities. That's uh, the short version of the uh, of a qu uh, answer. And it's going to happen in Democrat ran cities, even here in Houston, where I am. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen to a certain extent. But yeah, I believe it is because, uh, because they're going to, man, just imagine you have so many people out there that's willing to go to jail or even die for this false cause. This this thing that's going on. And it's, these people are really, really willing to put themselves out there. How do you see it playing and, out if it does? How, how, how long, how many days roughly? Uh, I say between, I mean, and this is my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, three to five days, if that, it probably wouldn't even go three, you know, it probably wouldn't go that long um, because uh, the mapping that's taking place, it may be just a roundup, just like, uh, you know, history, they say history don't really, it repeats itself, but it rhymes. Um, they're going to have probably a day of uh, getting these people arrested, something like in, uh, uh, Friday the 13th, you know, the history of Friday the 13th. And you look at the mass arrest and all this other stuff happening on one particular day, which that day, I don't know, but it's all going to be based on how the perception, I mean, how the people or the public perceives the information that's being put out there. You have some people that are mature and it's going to handle it maturely, but then you have some idiots out there. And that's where, you know, you're going to need uh, um, uh, military involved in that but i believe the military is already involved i still believe that uh the uh insurrection uh act ha was implemented i believe that uh devolution is taking place uh i believe that there's a, a plan behind the plan that's happening that we don't know about and we will never know what happened there's an element to this uh military operation that we won't know what happened, which I'm, I'm good with. I'm good with because we, we don't deserve that and they, they won't be able to prepare for the next time because they will try to do it again. It's gonna take a while, but that's the reason why they're gonna get desperate because they know if this thing is over, we, need to, we, we re really need to hold on to this. And that's why they're going through what they're doing now. They're challenging everything. It, laws putting out, they, they put out a law stating that if, uh, someone illegal violate, I mean, commits a felony that they should be deported. Do you know that pretty much all Democrats voted against that? Hmm. It's just one, one, one law and they voted against that. Just like all Democrats voted against giving uh, the African American, African American community the, the ability to vote. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. You'll see when it first came out, no one voted for it. Only the Republican side did. And that's why a, a lot of people frustrate me when they think, oh, we need to follow the Democrats. No, you don't. That was just a false promise that was given to us saying that, okay, since you're free and if you're going to move south, you need to vote Democrat in order to live down here. You need to vote our way if you're going to move down south. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Joe. Really appreciate, as always, the uh, the information and your uh, inside opinion based on you know previous knowledge. Obviously, serving in the military and, and police force, you, you have a wealth of knowledge there. Uh, where can people find out about your book and also about your your YouTube page so they can learn more about the decoding that you do? Well, the book is not, it has nothing to do with what's going on right now. This was actually a movie screenplay that my writing partner and I wrote, and we actually won third place in Hollywood screenwriting competition. So we decided to convert this into a book. Now, she did most of the heavy lifting on the writing part. I, I had a lot to do with it as well. But uh, uh, it's a good book, trust me. And I wouldn't say that because I'm promoting my own book. No, it's <laughs> actually really good, I, especially after I reread re it. And I'm like, oh, man, this thing is good. So, but uh, we're working on two other ones. Uh, so those will be coming out, uh, uh, well, I say within the next year or two. But uh, that, uh, follow me on Instagram, Black Pill Red is, is that. Same thing on uh, YouTube, Black Pill Red, when I'm not suspended. Um, you can follow me there. Uh, same thing on all platforms, same thing, black pilled, B L A C K P I L L E D red on all platforms. Uh, they're the same. Uh, also John, I wanted to show you something, but, I, uh, you, you, you're not having me, you have to give me permission. I can, to... I can share it. Yeah. Share it. Share it. Okay. It, uh, Donald Trump was making fun of. Joe Biden and Edward Harris. Mm -hmm. There it is. There's you, there you are. You can just and can in just the video. Through. Yeah, in the video, it uh, it was showing. Oh, you found it. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was showing. Can you can you, you <laughs> see this? I see it now. Yes. In the, uh, and and if you, if you play, of course, come on. We're going to buy America. Now, if you notice, the different clothing. The law since 1933. Also caps and won't go in effect <laughs> on 2025. By the way, that law was written. You see, that's McCarthy right there next to him. You see, that's McCarthy. New electric grids that are able to weather major storms and not... Okay, now, and, and you know, people probably were thinking, okay, he's being immature about it and everything, but someone on Instagram put this together and it makes sense why he was making fun of him. Check this out. And I want people to pay close attention to this. Check this out. Okay. So many decades, we imported projects and exported jobs. Now, thanks to what you've all done, we're exporting American products and creating American jobs. Now, instead of importing, importing foreign products and exporting American jobs, we're exporting American products and creating American jobs. Build the economy from the bottom up and the middle out, not from the top down. To build an economy from the bottom up and the middle out, not from the top down. Building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not the top down. We're the only nation on earth that has always turned every crisis we face into an opportunity. We're the only country that has emerged from every crisis we've ever entered stronger than we got into it. To your COVID-19 no longer need control our lives. Today, COVID no longer controls our lives. The pandemic no longer controls our lives. The only nation that can be defined by a single word, possibilities. I said I can define it in one word, and I mean this, possibilities, possibilities. I'm a capitalist. Look, I'm a capitalist. I'm a capitalist. I'm a capitalist. Let's pass the PRO Act. Pass the PRO Act. Pass the PRO Act. And extend the child tax credit. So we can let's restore the full child tax credit. Restore that child tax credit. If you travel 20 miles east of Columbus, Ohio, you'll see a field of dreams. Outside of Columbus, Ohio, on a thousand acres, literally a field of dreams, our infrastructure is ranked 13th in the world. It used to be number one in the world in infrastructure. We've sunk to 13th in the world, began to replace the poisonous lead pipes so every child, every American has clean water to drink at home and at school. We're also replacing poisonous lead pipes, removing po poisonous lead pipes so every child can drink clean water without risk of brain damage. We're going to do it by buying America. Buy American products. We're going to buy America. We're going to buy America. Buy America. The American Rescue Plan helped working people and left no one behind. We're building an economy where no one's left behind. We leave no one, no one behind. I get it. I get it. 
I get it. We pay more. Okay, there's a few more minutes of that, but you get, yeah. the, you get the gist. Get the gist of it, yeah. Uh, the entire speech was a repeat for the past three years, and that I believe that's what Trump was making fun of them for. He's basically letting us know that everything about this speech is a joke because it's the same speech from uh, the past two years. And I'm like, okay, I get it now. That's the reason why he was, he wasn't just being immature. He's letting you know that, Hey, these people are fools, which they are. Uh, no, I just wanted to show that. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was good. Thank you. Um, it's the same conversation, the same rhetoric, of course. So it's good that it, it's it's not pointing it out for us. It's more for the normies to start putting patterns together, right? So right, right. The people who are not getting because we we're already there, and right. everything that's mm -hmm. like uh, they're starting to put out the uh, oh her name just slipped my head. Uh, the female that testified in the J six about Trump uh, oh. lunging to the yes. uh, Cassie uh, mm -hmm. Hutchinson. Hutchinson, right, and. They're just re-putting that information out, saying that the uh, the actual driver testified that that didn't happen. But we knew that right after she did it, the, the driver said, "Hey, I'm willing to go uh, to testify and and you know and swear you know uh, uh, on a, a million stacks of Bible that this did not happen." So it's a lot of stuff that's actually happening. That's uh, that's for the people who are not there yet. Right. Right. Well, thanks for that, Joe. We appreciate that. And just to wrap up uh, real quick, we were talking about the beginning of the show. Uh, we have a, a reformatted um, private uh, channel that we're putting together. It's called Club Patriot. So it's got two sides of it, a left brain, right brain. The Club Patriot is a chance for all of you members to kind of connect for free. You can come on. Uh, we're not finished with the chat yet. But we're getting the chat room set up right now. It shouldn't be too long before uh, Chris has that completed. And then it'll give you as members, it's kind of like Discord, go in there and you can share ideas and opinions and solutions and, you know, creative ways to problem solve, being solution oriented as most of you are. And then there's the business side of it, which is the Real World Academy. If you want to build streams of income, if you want to network with business owners, uh, if you've got inventions, um, patents, things of that nature, and you want to channel partnership, there's that side of it as well. So we're going to leave that link in the description for those who are interested. Joe, thanks for being on today. We appreciate it as always, brother. We look forward to seeing you again soon. And thanks for all the information. One more thing. One more thing. You can find this on Amazon. I, I forgot to mention that. It's on oh, Amazon. Okay. Also, uh, if you have a, a Kindle device, it's there as well. So it'll be here. And uh, a trailer is actually on my site, uh, Black Pill Red. Uh, I have a the trailer queued up, but uh, we're probably running out of time now. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I have a trailer for the book on there on my on uh, Black Pill Red on YouTube. Uh, the book is only, uh, the physical book is like $9.99. The digital copy is 99 cents. So go get it. And once you get it, uh, give a review. We need a review. We need reviews to help with pr uh, book promotions. A lot of companies that we go through, if, they, if we can get enough reviews, they'll promote the book free. Uh, so... It just go on, buy it. Really good book, blindsided. J.L. Hilliam. It, it that's a combination. That's a uh, that's actually a pin name between mm -hmm. me and my right right partner. We created this person, uh, and and cop the book if you don't mind, and look and, and enjoy it. Trust me, it's good. Sounds good. Thanks, Joe. We appreciate it. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless. All right.